Hello YouTubers, today I want to show you some different type of stitches of null binding or needle binding or nadel binding wie man auf Deutsch sagt. I will show you a few different kinds. First I made my usual loop, put it on my thumb and then I'm starting, yeah we're starting with what? Pull through, push that upper loop from your thumb, and then one knot and one loop. So you have the, the position of one loop around your thumb and one loop behind the thumb. And then we get two loops around your thumb and one behind your thumb. And if you now see behind your thumb, you have one little loop. So if you put the needle through that one and you go under those two thumb loops, and you get two loops under your, around your thumb and one loop behind and there is a small one two there's a big loop and a small loop so if you only use this big loop and two loops around your thumb you have the far back stitch and the far back stitch is wider than the ostrich stitch with one loop behind and one around your thumb. So these two loops around your thumb and one loop behind your thumb is the far back stitch. It's a nice stitch. What nice is it's wider so if you make a fabric it's going to be a fast. But if you want to make the fabric dense the fabric becomes a little smaller and how we do that is we have now you can see one loop another loop and we can take those two loops so we, we push the needle in the big one and a smaller one behind your thumb so we have two loops on the needle under those two loops around your needle and we are getting the so-called finished stitch. These two loops behind your thumb here they are two loops behind your thumb and two loops around your thumb. It's the finished stitch and the finished stitch is a stitch we can use for uh, for socks and for things who has to be very uh, dense and and tight but the fabric with these loops is going to a little smaller than the fabric stitch but when you do the, the stitch it is you know, quite easy And sometimes I pull here on the tail so that the stitches are even. And here you can see this loop, the other one, another one. If you push, if you push so down, and then you can easily make that stitch. And I, I pull and push. So I see two threads around here. I pull and push. So I don't have to do this. And I put the needle not 
here I put the needle, when I start I put the needle flat and then I put the needle across so that I don't poke in the in the flat. So push the needle through those loops and put at the same time your loop from your thumb. So it going a lot of faster. And that is the finished stitch two by two. And you see it is very th thick and and yeah you can push it in. It is it's a nice very nice stitch. If you have one loop be around your thumb now, so I push the other one behind my thumb, I have now one loop, and now I take two loops, and then I continue, and then you get the so-called Corgan stitch. And the Corgan stitch is one loop around your thumb, and two behind and so this two loops behind your thumb and one around your thumb and then the corner stitch this stitch Yeah, so on all different and different kind of stitch. And it's also yeah, very easy. It is denser than the also stitch, of course. And it goes well. You have the core stitch, what we now make, we now make, and in some books they tell about the mama stitch. The mama stitch and this core stitch are exactly the same, with one exception: the core stitch is with the F1 connection stitch, and the mama stitch is with the F2 connection stitch. This is a quick review about different stitches. See, you have I hear a finished stitch in this, this part, and this is a little bit smaller and thinner, because we have only used one loop around your thumb and two uh, behind your thumb. That is uh, uh, some stitches in the next videos I will show more of these kind of stitches. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you around.